Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Helen and you're watching Stitch Rip Repeat. I'm doing a Friday Sews, although I think this is the second time I've done it on a Sunday, so I may have to start calling it Sunday Sews. Uh, but I'm basically doing one of my little catch-ups on what I have been up to, what I have been buying, what I've been sewing and life in general. So I've had a busy few weeks. Those of you in the UK will have had their children break up recently. And I think I underestimated, as I think I do every year, how busy I get in the last week of school and the sort of first week of summer. So I probably didn't get as much sewing done as I would like, but I've had some lovely family time. And I have managed to get one thing sewn up, which I will share with you. Obviously, there's a few purchases and there is um, some plans. So sharing all that with you today, starting with the one thing that I have made. If you follow me for a while, you will know that I am an ambassador for Jane and she has the dressmaker's closet. That means I do the tests for her new patterns. And also we join in with some monthly challenges as an ambassador team where she'll highlight one of her patterns. And this time round, that was the turn of the Martha top. And I was actually one of the original testers of the Martha top almost two years ago now. I think it came out in the summer of 21. And that was before Jane had set up our little ambassador team. And yeah, hopefully I'll pop in the photo of the version I made back then. I got some gorgeous fabric kindly gifted to me by Minerva for the team project of the Martha this month. Unfortunately, as I say, the whole sort of school ending and holiday beginning meant that I was way behind in my schedule and this should have been up uh, just over a week ago. So uh, my apologies to Jane and the team, but I have made it and obviously want to share how I got on. I will link my affiliate link for Jane's site down below. I think I've still got the 10% off the Sadie skirt. I will double check but that was her most recent pattern, which I did a video for, so you can check that out. And if you pop in Helen 10, then you can get 10% off the Sadie skirt. But if you want to look at any of her other patterns, as I say, I'd really appreciate if you could just go via my affiliate link. It would get me a small commission if you do buy anything, but it doesn't cost you any extra. So back to the Martha. This is a really lovely I would say very beginner friendly, so it has no fastenings to worry about like zips or buttons or no real fitting issues because it's a floaty top and it is a very pretty high low hem with a ruffle and then a little tie at the back. So hopefully I will pop in some photos. I'll show you, hopefully you can see my version here. And this is the gorgeous fabric. I wanna say it's one of their exclusive viscose chalet, but I will link to this fabric below. As I say, it's from Minerva. I just love the fun faces. And it is a really soft, gorgeous drape, as you can see, and lovely to sew with. So hopefully you'll see in the photos, this ruffle at the bottom, which is higher at the front and then hopefully you can see, lower at the back. It has a join at the back so that you can do that little tie closure. And then it is one piece for the front and obviously those little sleeves. So really straightforward, a nice, quick, easy sew. And I wore this on Friday. So a couple of days ago, my husband and I took our youngest two children to the zoo and I wore this with a denim jacket and some light trousers. I may have got one photo, um, which if I do, I'll pop it in. But it's one of those things where we're having such a lovely day with the children and seeing all the animals that I didn't get loads of photos, but I really loved this top. The weather was not hot, not cold, not windy, not, not rainy. It was perfect for walking around a zoo. And this top was the perfect choice because it was a throw on top. It was lovely and light and it looked great. So the Martha top, as I say, is a pattern she's had for a couple of years and you can check out all the details for the top. You can go to Jane's Instagram and she's shared versions or if you just put in the hashtag the Martha top on Instagram, then you'll be able to see all about it. Highly recommend and loved sewing it up in this 
fun fabric and look forward to making many more. So before I go on to show you uh, things that I have purchased or received recently and also my plan going ahead, I went to see Barbie on the, uh, I think it was Wednesday, with my youngest, my only girl out of my four children. And it was it was lovely because the cinema we have in sort of the centre of the city here had the Oppenheimer on at the same time. Obviously, you're probably aware it's a real phenomenon. I think they call it Barbenheimer because people are going to see both. I didn't particularly want to see Oppenheimer. I certainly wasn't taking my 12 year old to see it. However, my husband took our 17 year old, our eldest, and the two films were starting at the same time. So that was brilliant. We went in together. They went off and saw theirs. We went off and saw ours. Theirs was like an hour longer than ours. So we had a nice uh, cup of tea break afterwards while we waited for them. And it was lovely. I was a little annoyed with myself because I didn't plan ahead. It was kind of a, it was going to be a rainy day on the Wednesday. So we thought, what can we do? I know. Perfect time to go to the cinema. So I was hoping to sew up something pink. You know, I recently got some gorgeous pink fabric. I think it was from Andrea and First for Fabrics. So Beyond the Pink Door and First for Fabrics. But no, didn't get anything sewn up. So I wore this. I think it's a white stuff top, which I don't know if you can tell, but it's got these are fuchsia pink stripes. And I wore see these um, new earrings, which are from my subscription I mentioned before. And it's a lovely lady called Emily C Designs. These are her festival themed earrings, but I thought they went really well for the Barbie movie. And yeah, we absolutely loved it. I loved all the costumes. I have to say, I don't think I ever had a Barbie growing up. If you are from the UK and maybe of a certain age, you might remember that we had our own doll and she was called Cindy. And I had lots of Cindy dolls. I loved my Cindy dolls. But my daughter was born in America and spent the first few years of her life there. So she definitely had Barbies. And so, yeah, it was really, really lovely. So obviously that took me away from my sewing. Hence why I've only got one sewing item to show you. I got a gorgeous brooch from a company called Layla Amber, which I'm assuming is the name of the lady who runs it. Came in this really sweet box with these little wooden shapes and uh, I've got a little a little 10% off and yeah it came in that lovely packaging and I want to say it was Rachel from the French Seams that might have shared these on her stories first which if you did I'm pretty sure it was Rachel so thank you I popped on over and I got myself this gorgeous wooden brooch but you may be able to see it's quite special I'm hoping you can see if you can't I will pop in a photo but it has my channel name put on it there and so, yeah, this lovely lady makes and hand paints her own jewellery, wooden jewellery, and she's based in Suffolk in the UK. So my plan is that I want to make a Sorrento jacket in denim. I'm thinking ahead to the knitting and stitching in October. And last year I wore a denim jacket, but it was uh, bought from the shops this year. I'm hoping to make my own. And I think that that brooch would look lovely on a denim jacket and yeah absolutely love it so gorgeous so that was the first thing I received recently another thing I received in the post was from the lovely Adam who I'm sure you all are aware of he is Adam Sows if you aren't aware where have you been do go and check out his Instagram his website and his YouTube channel makes the most amazing bags, quilted stuff, clothes, just slippers, animal dolls, just everything. The man's a genius. <laughs> I've had a few things from him before. You may have seen I've got a multi zip up case from him. I've had a bag from him. I've had a, a notebook cover. Oh, I don't think I've shared that. So I may have to pop in a photo of that as well. It's downstairs in my college bag. Um, but the recent thing that I wanted to share with you, he rustled up, if you've seen his videos, you'll know a few of his caddies recently. And Adam is a massive Tula Pink fan, as am I. Unfortunately, I don't do bag making anymore or not, certainly not for a long time. So I don't get a chance to use Tula Pink. So I funnily enough did de-stash most of my Tula Pink to Adam. 
Tula's brought out a revamped version of some of her previous prints and this one I want to call it I want to say it's called Nightshade Deja Vu. I loved the original. I love this one and it is this amazing caddy and I'm really hoping you can see this is the wonderful Nightshade Deja Vu and it's got different faces on this side. So their pockets on the sides there, got the gorgeous striped uh, webbing here or ribbon holding up these handles. It's got pockets, one just a regular pocket on that side and a gorgeous rainbow iridescent zipped pocket this side and the most amazing prints on the inside and these really handy little carry handles on the outside as well as these and I absolutely love it. I saw that he was going to be releasing these and I stalked him. Adam knows. I stalked him and said, when is it going on? I need to get it. And uh, yeah, the lovely Adam gave me a quick heads up <laughs> when he was putting this on. So I have this gorgeous caddy, which I'm looking forward to using for social sewing days and weekends away with lovely sewing friends. The other pieces I got of sort of haberdashery stuff were from the Little Tees haberdashery, who sadly are closing. Now, I used to get all my rainbow thread overlocking cones from them, so I had a quick look. I don't know if I found out a bit late that they were closing because there was obviously stuff sold out. She had everything reduced, or most things reduced. So I picked up. A few things very boringly I've picked up some uh what are they 80 80 12 needles in there I've got some other needles hiding in there one second <laughs> yeah and I got some 90 40 as well I mean obviously we always need needles and they were reduced so I picked them up now so that I'll have them I picked up these no idea why it's not like I need them but these two, which I think were under a pound each, are glow-in-the-dark threads. And I just thought that'd be really fun. Maybe come Halloween, I will do something for the children for their trick-or-treat bags or something like that. But anyway, I picked these up because they were highly reduced. I picked up, I think, three metres. I'll double check of this. Now, this is, um, it's like a stretch stripe in that uh, Ukrainian colours, I've just noticed, <laughs> in the black, yellow and blue. And I see, I have seen a couple of lovely ladies, Sean from Kittenish Behaviour and Rachel from Stitched Up. Not recently, but they've both done um, joggers where they've put stripes down the side seam. And I really fancy a pair of black plain joggers for around the house. And um, I thought that would be really nice as a stripe down the side seam. So I picked them up. And then lastly, this one kind of leads into another thing I want to show you. I think it may be a bit wide for what I'm thinking of. But she had this gorgeous rainbow webbing reduced, uh, which if you are a bag maker, you'll know, very handy. I've just looked at it and I think it's probably too wide for what I'm thinking of. But I do want to make some rucksacks and various bits and bobs at some point. So I thought while it was reduced, I would grab that wonderful rainbow webbing. As I say, my initial thought was it was for a pattern that I bought recently. But I'm thinking, I haven't looked at it, but I'm thinking it might be too wide. That's fine. I'll find something to use it for. The pattern I bought was inspired by the lovely Liz, who is the baker that sews. She has knocked up, I think, 17 of these. And she showed them on Instagram. She showed them on her YouTube. They are the coral water bag from Sunflower Seams Patterns. And hopefully you can see that there. I might put in some photos. As you can see, they're a little water bag and the strap in the instructions. I haven't looked, but I believe Liz was saying that they want you to make it from the fabric. But she found out very quickly that if you do it in webbing, it makes the pattern a whole lot quicker to make. I would like to make up some of these for myself and for the family. So I did buy that after Liz shared it and I have indeed already had it printed by the fabulous guys at Fabuloso. So that as well as my Flamingo Bright 
coloured bag that I plan to make from Guthrie and Garney. They are summer plans which kind of have gone on the back burner because the sun's disappeared uh, for the last few weeks for us here. But I'm hoping to get them made before it comes back. I assume it does come back. <laughs> and then the last things I want to share with you that I've bought before I mention the plan I have going ahead, of course, is some fabrics. So the first one is from by Graziella and I want to say they had discount on this. I'm not 100% sure but I thought a t-shirt as you can see I do like a striped t-shirt and I thought a t-shirt in this fabulous print here which is this white and it has the stripes and those gorgeous green apples all over it. I just think a nice plain t-shirt in that will go with anything. So I picked up, I think I only picked up a metre because I think it's 150 centimetres wide. So um, that was by Graziella. Um, I do love their uh, selvages, but I also don't love them because look how much of the fabric they take up. But never mind, uh, looks very cute. <laughs> then I have some more fabrics from Fabric Heaven. These, I think most of them were pre-orders. So she sometimes does pre-orders where she puts up a print that she's going to order, you say what you want. Then when it comes in, you then pay for it and she posts it off. And the first one, I think probably when I ordered this, it was because I was already working or chosen the fabric from Minerva for my Martha. So I was into the faces. She's got this very lovely bright, abstract faces on this light cotton here it's a very lightweight and I just love the pattern and all those faces and although I've only made one so far I think that would make a really fab Donny shirt and so I again I think I only got a meter and may have got a meter and a half and as I say that was from Fabric Heaven and these other two I just can't resist a bright coloured print of some sort. First one here, I've got dots and circles from her before, but this one is this really gorgeous, bright rainbow fabric colours and dots all over it. And it's just got every colour under the sun. So I absolutely love that. I love those bright colours and I'm not sure what I'll make yet. Again, it's the very lightweight cotton. So I may make a Mabel top version from the Tilly and the Buttons but I'm not sure I just had to have it because it's beautiful <laughs> and then at the same time as behind the circles I saw that she had this one and it is these fabulous bright coloured squares and so again you know me I love the bright colours I like a print so yeah again I think I may have got a metre and a half of both of these but I'm just thinking some kind of simple top that can show off the fabric. So something similar to the Donny that doesn't have a join at the front, um, we will see. But yes, I got those three from Fabric Heaven there. And then the last of the fabrics were from Pound Fabrics. As I've said, and always say in my videos, I will link everything I talk about below, so you'll be able to go and check them out for yourself. This one is a chiffon -y type, I think they just call it chiffon fabric. I think I got two or three, I think two meters looking at it, of this really gorgeous florals in the gray and the green and the blue. It's obviously chiffon, it is nice and light and it is see-through. I was thinking a cover up for a bikini or a swimming costume. Not that I have any plans to go on holiday anywhere that I can wear it, but I'm seeing everybody else doing their holiday wardrobe and I'm very jealous and lots of people have been doing cover-ups. And so I have bought this. It was £2 a metre. So I'm not sure what I will do with it yet, but I, as I say, am thinking a lovely summer piece to throw on top of something and waft about looking gorgeous. <laughs> The last fabric I got from Pound Fabrics was inspired by the lovely Adele, who is so for Serenity. She has this, she had this fabric and she informs me 
because we're WhatsApp buddies, uh, that she has it in the cream background as well. She's made a gorgeous dress, which I hope she doesn't mind me showing the picture on here. And so when I saw this on Pound Fabrics for one ninety-five a metre, I think I picked up four metres. And it is this amazing tiger print on black. It's just a cotton. Um, it's not too bad. Obviously, it's not got a huge drape, but it's not too stiff. I loved it when Adele had it and I couldn't resist when I saw it. I think it was reduced from £7 a metre, so it was an absolute bargain. I almost bought the cream as well, but I stopped myself. Yeah, as I say, I got four metres this because I specifically wanted to make a dress that was also inspired by the lovely Adele and also by Becky from What Beck Sews. And that is a dress from a company called Seasons of East. And the dress is summer in New York. I bought this pattern in October last year when I met the two lovely, I think they're sisters, who are the Seasons of East Pattern Company. And uh, Angela from Devon Thread Tales and I had a lovely chat with them. They had mannequins with some of their dresses in their little stand. And one of them had this summer in New York dress. And so I bought it. And as you may have seen from other people's uh, vlogs about this company, I absolutely love how they do their physical patterns. So it comes with this uh, gorgeous bag, which is obviously reusable because it's got the little pull at the top and it's got that wonderful artwork on it. And then inside you have obviously the printed pattern You've got the booklet with the instructions on and I absolutely loved it back then and then just never got around to making it. And now Adele's made a gorgeous version, as has Becky. Pretty sure Rachel from Stitched Up has or is making one. So it made me drag this back out because I'd wanted to make it and just it was languishing in my stash. So with that gorgeous tiger fabric, I want to make this uh, summer in New York dress. So that is me for today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed catching up with what I've been up to and what I've been buying. And I do hope that you are managing to do some sewing or something sewing related. And I will catch you all in my next video.